Track 2.47, Unit 9, Reading, Exercise 2. The Early Days of Steam. 1. Horse drawn trains. Today, people all over the world travel by train. It is usually a fast and comfortable way to travel. But 200 years ago, there weren't any railways. There were only coaches and horses, and they weren't very comfortable. No trains meant horse-drawn vehicles also had to carry heavy loads. This was difficult for the horses and very slow. In 1804, the British government ordered railway tracks to be laid in South Wales to carry coal and minerals from the mines. The tracks helped the horses pull the coal more quickly. 2. The first successful locomotive train Matthew Murray built the first steam locomotive train that worked for more than a few months. He called it the Salamanca, and it ran on the Middleton Railway in the north of England. This also carried coal, but it wasn't very successful. It only worked for six years. In 1818, the engine exploded. 3. George Stevenson's first train. Two years later, George Stevenson also designed an engine to take loads of coal from mines. His was the Blucher. Before this, trains ran on wooden tracks, but this engine was too heavy for them, so Stevenson helped design metal tracks. 4. The first passenger train. Stevenson designed a 40-kilometer railway track between coal mines in the Stockton and Darlington area. He also started a company to produce engines. It opened in 1827, and the engines reached a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. For the opening ceremony, Stevenson's company produced a passenger car to go on the back of the engine. He called it the experiment. This was the first time passengers travelled by train. 5. All the way to Manchester Early steam engines were heavy, so they used a lot of power going up hills. When Stevenson designed the Liverpool to Manchester railway, he decided to make the route trains travelled on as flat as possible. This meant a lot of engineering work, making tunnels and cuttings through hills. There was a competition to find a designer for the engines on this railway. The winning train had to be able to travel 97 kilometres without a problem. Stevenson entered, won the competition and became one of the most famous engineers in the world.